There we go. Looking good, man. Looking smart for you guys out there. Hey YouTube, what's up? It is Gross School here. And today's video is just going to be a video log talking about my life and everything because I haven't actually made a video log in a while. And um, I've been absent off from the internet in the past uh, four or five days. Uh, so sorry about that. I uh, took a break off the internet to uh, rethink my life. Rethink everything. Just take, get a break, like a holiday, you know, get away from the place. Because it's not really nice because... You guys will say, oh, you've got the perfect job, you work on your computer, you do your streaming growth score. Oh, that's like, oh, it's so great, you can, you're at home all the time, that's perfect. Actually, no, it's, it's not. So, uh, you get days where you just want to get out because you're always cooped up indoors, you know. I finished streaming, I can now relax. Oh, wait, hold on, I'm in, I'm in my workspace. You understand? So it does get a bit boring. Um, nevertheless, thank you for letting me take time off. But today's video, anyway, I want to talk about... Um, relationships and my life and love and all that cringy shit that you guys hate but I don't give a shit if you hate it or not because uh, this is my video so uh, yeah you can you could sit and listen if not you can cross off right fucking now right I'll give you I'll give you the option why eat my apple right I'll take a bite you, you can just contemplate that what we're about to get into may be borderline cringy for you not for me just for you just for you watching all right so uh, take your time make sure yeah all right just remember that Mm. I've been eating a lot of apples recently. Apples are better than coffee and tea. Trust me, like, this is the best breakfast. I know it's 2.45. Still, past the point, apples are good for you. Yeah. Did you ever do this in school? Did you ever, like, twist it and count, do the alphabet? So, here's an example. So you go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's like G, going on to an H. So any girl beginning with G, I'm in love with. G. And the girls out there called Georgie. Um, Georgia. No, I, I don't fucking know. Right, so. Thanks for sticking around. We're talking about everything, actually. So, um, I'm just going to say this, what I said yesterday in my Facebook video. If you guys have always been in a relationship... And you break up with a girl. You know it's horrible being single. Maybe for one, it's nice for you. It's a good change. But deep, for me, when you go from in a relationship to being single, it just is ho horrible. It's it's horrible. Hor really horrible. Like, you go from talking to, telling you the girl, your girlfriend, all your problems and, and all that to, to nobody being there for you. You know? I... I know I've got my best friend and I know I've got all my fans online to talk to, but it's more like a personal thing, you know. There's someone to hang out with and spend time with and, you know, just have a lot of romance with. At the end of the day, I I broke up with my ex-girlfriend about five weeks ago. And um, in the past month, I've been uh, talking to a lot of women and I've had two one-night stands, which I really do regret. Like, uh, no, not like in a bad way. Well, one of them was in a bad way. That fucking, oh, Jesus. But the other one was an okay fling. It was it was nice. But it was like, uh, it's not really worth putting up your number by one. Because believe it or not, I'm 22, coming 23. And I've only slept with six and a half girls. Oh, sorry. Seven and a half girls. So, yeah. How good am I? No. She was not a fucking dwarf. It kind of half went in. Yeah, I got nervous because she, uh, she, uh, she was really intimidating. You know, I, I put it in her and it, it just went down. I was like, shit scared. Yeah, man, she she had that power over me to, to make me feel like shite. Yeah, she was scary. Anyway, anyway, we'll get into that. The point is, um, one night stands don't cut it. It's not worth going out for. That's not, not to see why women don't, don't sleep around because it is actually shit. It's shit. It, one night stands... A poo. Honestly, they're crap. Uh, the best, the best time about sex actually is uh, when you feel safe with somebody and you feel really comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. You know, um, I know there are a lot of players out there watching this video. Probably, well, I, I don't know actually. Now, now I think about it, but I'm pretty sure there's like, a few guys watching this video like, yeah, I fucking, I, I fuck like thirty bitches, man. I fuck like forty, for, I fuck forty bitches. Really? Yeah, last week. Fucking hell, Jesus. You know. Um, but yeah, I, I know a lot of you guys are probably virgins. <laughs> I'm not trying to say that in a harsh way. I'm just saying I've got like a young audience here. You know, I didn't lose my virginity until 18. Oh, actually, 17. Um, so don't be, don't be upset. You know, it's all good. Wait for the right girl. You know, um, 
and it's it's well easy. Don't get nervous. It's it's proper. E if you feel comfortable with that, it's well easy. You know. Anyway, that's another story. But I'm going to tell you guys what's been going on. So uh, I've been keeping my options open, and I've been talking to a lot of uh, women. Um, just 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 meeting and greeting. My, my best friend got me on that Tinder. You know, Tinder. You swipe right and left. I met a few girls on Tinder. They're all crazy bitches on there. Trust me. You, you do know all you guys out there, right? Um, there's ten blokes to every one woman on Tinder. So there's your fucking. If you're not like looking gorgeous, then you're gonna get. A, you're never gonna get any matches. Before I let you know, I know a tip for Tinder: always swipe right. Because if you swipe left and look for your option, you're not gonna find any matches. So it's just like I googled it. Like you have to do that. Did you know, girls? If, it, if there's a good-looking girl. If, honestly, if she swipes like like on any picture, she's like ninety percent of the time to get a match. Is that fucking? Is that that's bullshit? In it, that is bullshit. Like God, how girls can just go boop. But then again, Tinder is just an app to fuck somebody, isn't it? It's you know. Right, enough about Tinder. More about life. Um, so it started with about uh, about two and a half weeks ago. I really like this girl, and um, I met her. She was a viewer of mine. Um, She's a bit young though. See, I'm, I'm going, this, is, this is me going to the paedophile section again. She's a, she's a virgin, which is which is extra. Uh, I don't really give a fuck. Uh, but she was 16. So, mm, yeah, I know. Paedo, paedophile grows school. But listen, here in the UK, you can be 16 and, and, and get somebody. You know what I mean? It's, 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 if they're under 16. I'm 22. It looks pretty bad. But you got to remember something. Girls go for mature guys. They do. They do. Yeah, they do. Because at my age, we come as shit. When you're your age, 16, 17, 18, 19, whatever, you're horny as fuck. You hit about 20, 21, you start coming the right the fuck down. I don't really want to shank. I can sleep in the same girl as a bed. I can sleep in the same... I can, I can spoon a girl without fucking her, is, is what I'm trying to say. You know, you guys, if you're, if you're, if you're spooning a girl, you're going to get a ma major boner, you're going to rape her. You fucking filthy cunts. And at the end of the day, so I met this girl who was 16, and I don't really give a fuck what people think. <laughs> my ex-girlfriend was 17 when I met her, and I, a lot of my fans dissed me out. I was like, mate, I'm fucking her, you're not. <laughs> right? but, you know, but it doesn't really matter. Law's law, 16 plus is okay. So I, I got on Skype with her, and we Skype for what, seven hours, and we just sat there and smiled at each other. Cringy as fuck, I know, but it was cute. It was really, really cute. And I was like, whoa, I think I'm in love here. You know, I... You know they say you can afford love at first sight? I thought it was one of them because she was gorgeous. And she's never had a boyfriend before. And I showed all my friends her pictures and they're like, oh mate, she's average, she's average. But to me she was a beaut. She's beautiful. I love her. Fuck me. Honey, you know her, you know her for a day. I don't give a shit what you say, mate. I love her. Fuck you. I'm allowed to say that. I'm entitled to say that. Anyways, so um, the next day uh, was the day before Valentine's Day. And um, I thought, I arranged it for her. Hey, where do you live? Oh, I live in Leeds. Oh, wow, that's great, you know. Um, that's like five hours journey from me, but I'm happy to come down on Valentine's Day and uh, we can hang out. You know, we don't got a shank. You know, we don't. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to hang out. I want to take you to the cinema. Fifty Shades of Grey, if you really want, or, or, or go watch Ex Machina, which I still haven't watched. <sighs> At the end of the day, I'll take you out. I'll buy you food. We we'll spend a day together. I can meet your mum. I, I, whatever you want to do. I, I, I can meet your friends. You want to go shopping? I'm going to take you shopping. You want to go uh, for a nice walk? You want to watch a movie? What, 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 do anything. You want to well, you want to get a hotel? Expensive hotel? A cheaper? You, don't, you want to come back to mine? You, you don't want to... Turns out, I got to know her. She's really nice. She was up for meeting on Valentine's Day. It was great. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about it. Oh, it's so good. Um, and what happened was, um, I got to know her a lot in this like nine hour Skype call. And she likes pandas. I knew that she likes pandas. Yeah, you know the animal, panda. Like a panda, you know. Um, so, the day before Valentine's Day, I went out, got my hair done. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at slick. Got some clothes, you know, got some spray, you know. Oh, yeah, a little good, man. I felt cool. I was like, yeah, what's going on, lads? Yeah, I feel, I feel good. Yeah, yeah. I ironed my shirt. I ironed my shirt, man. I was like this, oh, I can't wait, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's going to love me, sort of thing. Right. At the end of the day, um, I went and got her a Valentine's gift, all right, which is still here. Of course it fucking is. I know. I know what you guys are going to say. Oh, no, Ali. No, no, Ali. That's really bad. You shouldn't buy that. You just met her. I know I just met her, but full, the full counts, right? The full counts. It's nothing expensive. Don't worry. It's okay. It's just the, it's just it's just something little. Uh, full counts a lot. You know, I could be get her chocolates and flowers, but that's cringy to, in my opinion. What I got instead... <laughs> You might think I'm proposing to her. I've known her for a day. I know! Shut your mouth! But I got her, um... I got her this. 
Na, na, na. It's all tangled up. But I've got a um I've got her a necklace. A pound on it. Look. Now he's all lonely, see that? But like the full count, and it wasn't expect it wasn't expensive at all, it's just like a cheap like a cheap thing from a jeweler's. It was sixty quid, alright? What what does it matter? At the end of the day, like, oh it's, it's okay. Shh shh. It's alright. Don't cry, don't cry, it's okay. Full full counts, right? The full counts. Anyways, so I was really happy. Walking around listening to Ed Sheeran. Oh yeah. He's got I love Ed Sheeran. I love I love Ed Sheeran. You know, so walking around, turns out, um, I got indoors. And hey, 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 she's giving me the cold shoulder. What's happened? Oh, she's had a change of heart, has she? Yeah, she's had a change of heart, lads. And all of a sudden, she doesn't want to meet. Fucking women. Mates. Why are you do this, man? Like, why? I don't understand. I, and I was like, oh, I was like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm alright, you? Right. Yeah, have you had a change of heart? Yeah, alright, so you don't want to meet tomorrow? I thought you meant next week. Yeah, man, next week's Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, next week. Uh, turns out that she just uh, doesn't know what she wants. So uh, that's, that's, that's the thing with these these young girls. Like they're just they're just all over the place. I, I think they're more interested in like eating sweets than they are relationships and shit. You know, they're more interested in trying a cigarette. You know what I mean? So that's one thing. Young girls, yeah, young girls, right? So, anyways, um, when it met. Uh, that night I streamed and I was pretty feeling down. I was feeling pretty down. This is the day before Valentine's Day. Feeling pretty down. And then I got off stream. I said, guys, I'm feeling a bit down. I get off stream. Got, off got Finished my League of Legends stream. And I uh, started um, Skyping another girl. Another fan. She's real cool. Nice. We met. I went all the way up to fucking near Edinburgh. Near, near. From, from Folkestone, Kent. Which is the corner of, of, of the United Kingdom. You can't get any more corner. You go any more corner, you're going to be standing in water. I could see France from my house. So, I could see France. You know the corner of the United Kingdom? The little, right? So, here's the United Kingdom. It's like a fucking robot, right? That's what, you know. Here, here, here's, here is um, Kent, you know. And then over here, we got, like, London, right? Round, yeah. You, you see what I mean? And then all the way over here, we got, like, Southampton and shit. And all the way up here, we got, like, the, 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 you know, the end of the United Kingdom. I went all the way from fucking bottom right-hand corner to fucking near Edinburgh. Right? Bottom right, all the way up there. I, I travelled the whole of the United Kingdom, pal. The whole of the United Kingdom. To meet this girl, which was very spontaneous. But I love spontaneous. I love it. I love, people say, oh, come meet me. I'll meet you the next fucking minute, mate. I'll be on that dra damn track. I'm not going to prepare, prepare for fuck all. Mum, look after my dog. Boom! Out the door, you know? So, went from the corner of the United Kingdom all the way up to Edinburgh, which is fucking five-hour train journey yet again. And, um... Met this other girl. And, um, she just kept on talking about her ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty, uh, hor horrible. I turned up and she was... <laughs> yeah, here's a tip to you people out there. If you meet somebody, right, and you might like each other or there might be something, don't talk about your fucking ex because you blew it. It's it's out the window. Because it shows you care more about them than... than... Right, so we met and uh, I thought, okay, this ain't really going anywhere. I brought her back on the train with me. She spent a week here with my friends, and she was real cool, and she was real nice, and, uh, but there was no spark. You know what I mean? There was just, like, no spark. She's a smoker as well, which I don't really... Girls that smoke... I mean, if you want to smoke green, weed, you know, I'm cool with that. You know, smoking cigarettes, I don't know what it is. You go from, like, a... You go from, like, a... A, a, a ten. You're gorgeous. You go from that ten. You know, you can't get any more higher than ten. You're ten. Wow, you're so good-looking, and you're, you're cute, you're small. Perfect. You start smoking, especially... Fuck, she, smoke, she smokes like three cigarettes a freaking hour. It just drops to like a fucking three. I'm not, not, no troll. No troll. That's me being generous. If anything, it's a two. Girls that smoke, because I'm thinking, yeah, you might look nice, but you, you, you're tasting like cigarettes. Anyways, we met and we hanged out and there was nothing there. There was nothing. After a couple of days, we kind of like, uh, we, we kind of got a bit more close, but it's still no spark. You know what no spark means, right? It basically means like, uh, you're just not really, uh, interest you're not really wanting wanting each other so anyways uh, after a few days she went home and everyone everyone went home my friends and then um i started talking to this new girl and um we re like we met she, you know it was just like hey i like your videos oh hey essay to me essay back essay to me essay back hold on i'm not a pedo right this one's 20 huh 
Um, is that fucking good or what? What, right? Uh, she's fucking 20 years of age. She's gorgeous. Well, this is the thing. It's one of them things. My friends are telling me, oh, mate, she's average. Oh, mate, yeah, you can do better than that. Mate, gross school. You've got to aim up the standard high. Why the fuck do I got to aim up the standard high? Because, mate. Because, why? What is it about me? Because you don't do drugs. What else? Yeah, you're, you're not in the ugly. Oh, thanks, mate. You've got a personality. Oh, really nice. You've got an all right body. Oh, 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 oh thanks, Jezza. Uh, yeah, you've got money. Oh, what? Yeah, money. My, that's the real... Oh, what? I'm, not, I'm not rich. Yeah, but you're not broke. Yeah, I'm not rich. Uh, that shouldn't be included. I, I, it, I'm a nice... I don't do drugs. I'm a nice person. Voila. Stops there. You know, Amy, stand aside. You've got a fan base. You've got a lot going for yourself. I think that's the main point. A lot of them say, yeah, you got, you got a lot of you got a lot going for yourself, growth score. So, you've got to aim your standards high. You can't be aiming for like a 5 or 6. You need to go up to that 7, 8. But it's horrible, because the girls that are like 7, 8-ish, they're all bitchy. They're like, they think they're the dog's bollocks. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I would never get with a guy. Yeah, and guys are all dicks. All guys are dicks. Who really knows a girl that's like that? They judge every fucking guy by their fucking goddamn ex. Every guy's a dick. Yeah, guys are wankers. Fuck you. I don't like you. I don't like people like you. All right, that's it. So, at the end of the day, I met this girl. We start writing essays, essay, essay, essay for like three days flat writing essays. Essay, 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 essay. And then um, what happened was uh, about ooh, five nights ago, I was uh, on my computer and I was going through some old pictures of me and my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> And I was going through, I was sorting out the pictures, you know, because on my computer they were like flipped upside down. And I was going through and I was flipping them the right way. And as I was going through them, I was seeing from like when we met to when we broke up with each other. And I, it was like a, I could see where I was going wrong. And I was flipping, but my brain was playing tricks at me. You know, I was thinking of like all the happy times. I was thinking all happy, happy times, happy times. Oh, all these times are happy. Look how happy they are, you know. Brain plays tricks. I started missing her. I miss her. Oh, all, the, all the happy times. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. All these good times. Wow. Why do we break up? I want to make love right now. Nah, nah. I want to make love. Which we never broke up right now. So after I got, went through them all, I, I had the urge to talk to her. Anyways, which is funny because another girl messaged me. Hello. Hello. I need you to talk to your ex-girlfriend. Why? Wow, what's the reason? Because I've got, I've got her blocked and everything. Oh, she um she's, she's cheating... Oh, she, she, um, she's getting involved in my relationship. Sorry, what? What's happening? Your ex-girlfriend, right? Say her name, Shannon. Right, Shannon, yeah. She's, um, she's flirting with my boyfriend. She's trying to get with my boyfriend, who I've been dating for three years. I thought, classic Shannon. <laughs> that is classic. Because she cheated on me. Uh, which is funny. And she hasn't learned a lesson, yet she's going around and trying to fuck with other people's relationships. That's, sorry, that's, that's hilarious. So I said to the, I was on, on stream on call to this girl. She goes, please give me your phone number. No, you don't know. Please trust me. I gave her my phone number. I was on stream. I muted my microphone. Hello. Oh, please, you know, please just talk to Shannon. Tell her to leave. Stay out of my relationship. Please, Ali. You're the only person that I probably t she had listened to. All right, I'll talk to her after stream. Coincidence, because I want to check up on her anyway. So, five hours later, I finished my stream, and I jump on Skype. I message Shannon. Hey, Shannon. Um, I'm blocked her. Look, jump on Skype with me. Pretty urgent. I want to Skype with her. Me thinking, to, you know the expectations to reality? It was one of them. You ever seen 500 Days of Summer? You know, the movie? It was like, my expectations were like, I expect to come on a Skype call and we're going to be like, oh, how you doing? Yeah, I'm really good. How are you? I'm real good. Yeah, I'm real good. Yeah, you know. But in reality, it was like this. Oh, hey, how you doing? What? Oh, um. Oh, sorry, yeah. Well, what do you want? What do you, what's wrong? Um, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, just... So I said, is there any guy you're seeing right now, right? Because it looks like, I, I, because the girl, cause I, you know, so she's probably thinking, oh yeah, look, he's interested in me, which I'm fucking not. It was because I, I said, look, I know you might think I'm interested in you, but I'm not. I just need to know this because there's another girl who, who, who you're cheating on her boyfriend. There's a, you, you're getting involved in her relationship. She's turned around and gone, oh yeah, she's crazy, that bitch is crazy, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. And I've gone, okay, I'm sitting thinking, what the fuck am I doing in this Skype call? What am I doing in this Skype call? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've gone, okay. And then after that, I've gone to, how you doing anyway? And she's gone, is that it? Is that it? Blah, 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 blah. And I thought, and, I, and I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, what a fucking mistake this was. Now I see why I broke up with you. Because the, the brain, it plays the tricks on you, you know what I mean? It, it, it's like playing tricks on me. It's, go, it's, go, it's going, oh yeah man, I miss her, she's so nice. She, I Skype her in a minute and think, oh yeah, you're crazy. You're fucking insane. 
Yeah, I remember why I broke up with your ass in the first place, bitch. And, um, completely insane. And, um, it was like little things. Look, I've got to go downstairs. Lucas waiting for me. Lucas downstairs. Fuck off. I don't give a shit. So, literally, came off a Skype call. And, um, and, uh, fell out of her freaking friend. Her friend, Joe. Ugh, oh, I'm not doing that guy anymore. Nah. This year, to which I made a video saying... This year, we're not, I'm not going to have, cut the arseholes out of your life. Right? Joe was one, we can all admit that. My fans hated him. At the end of the day, um, that's about that. And I thought to myself, fucking never again. Ne no more, no more now. No, no, no more. No more. No more brain F's you up. And all you people out there, if you're going to, if you're going to break up an ex or whatever, don't go through your fucking pictures and go, oh, Mr. Because you're, when you, it'll never work. It will never work, mate. Well, it might. It might. Small percent. Like 10% or 5%, 1%. But the majority of it won't fucking work. It will never go back to where it was. Trust me on this. Trust me. So, at the end of the day, what happened was, uh, basically... Oh, my apple's going all fucking weird. Um, at the end of the day, I was like, I've got to stay out of this. And I was, and I, after that video, that, that ran, cut the asses out of your life, and I thought, I need a break. I, I need a break. I need to go. I need to get out of here. Because I'm cooped up in here the whole time. So what happened was I went to um, Winchester. Yeah. Winchester. You know. And wait for all this to blow over. You ever seen Shaun of the Dead? No? Right. So. I uh, went to Winchester. And met this girl I liked. And uh, we didn't have sex. Mm -mm. I'm not blowing this one. Nah. I'm not doing it. Um, she wants to take things slow. The thing about. This is, this is a big thing. This is, this is what I mean. This is one thing I hate. She wants to take it slow. Right, I can take it slow, right? But your slow might be different to my slow. What? Just don't waste my time. Don't fucking mug me off. Don't piss me about. Because when you meet somebody, it should be like this. Like that. Do you like me, yes or no? Yes or no? That's it. It should be that easy, you know? And um, we met. And uh, we snogged. And oh, it's so cute. <gasps> cringy, gross girl. Cringy, yeah, but we snogged. We was like on our... We were, we were, we were on our knees. We were on our knees, and we had music playing, and it was like, yes, this is better than a fucking one night stand any fucking day of the week. And it was gorgeous, and it was cute, and I liked it. And that's taking it slow, ladies and gentlemen. And um, it was awesome. No sex. As I said, I, I swear my life, no sex. And um, it was great, and I met all our friends, and our friends, she said our friends liked me, which is bonus. And I uh, treated her, she had like a pair of... Shoes which were busted up, so I bought a pair of Converse because they were just because of fault. She went to uni the next day, and I was like walking around Winchester, so I bought a bit pair of Converse because her she had the fake pair which was like busted up. But I, I could tell she's size five because I got a foot fetish in it. Yeah, so I could tell. So I got a size five. Anyways, fault matters a lot, you know. I think the fault counts, you know. It's not like I'm going out and looking at me. I've got money. I think it's more like uh, which I which I don't. Uh, you know, I've just been streaming a lot, so I'm okay. But I think people, I think the fault, I like to be thoughtful, you know. Uh, I think she needed a new pair of shoes. Right, that's that. So we went and got drunk and it was great. And then, then, then we slept in, the, slept in the same bed. A lot of kissing, no sex, trust me. Um, and the next day came and it was really nice. Uh, went up to Southampton. You guys know Southampton? Yeah, Southampton was awesome. I uh, went to a casino. I loved it. I didn't spend any money in there. Right, I lost 20 quid on the roulette wheel. Leave me alone. Right, so went back home and um, it was great, you know, slept together, spooned, kissing again, woke up, I'm going to go home. You know, and that was it because I'm, I'm missing my, 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 my viewers, I'm missing my stream, I'm missing being gross score. And uh, that's that really. And I've been back home and um, I'm not really, she wants to take it slow, like I'm talking slow, slow. Even like this video could fuck me up. But then again, the, what I'm looking at, it could, I don't give a shit, like, I'm, I'm making this video, if she wants to watch it and say, oh my god, oh my god, you told her, blah blah, you're clearly not the right one for me, and this is, you know what I mean, that's how I am, like, uh, that's how it is, so I'm doing myself a favour, it's it's me, it's who I am to make videos like this, if she's going to have a go at me, she's not the right one, but I don't think she will have a go at me, if she did, does, then she's not the right one, that's it, that's how it is, just be yourself in relationships, the feeling should be neutral, and that is it, man. So, I don't know how it's going, but I'm just high on life. I'm so happy, though, if this is still going great, which it is with this girl, hopefully, after this video, it should be still going great. 
You know, it could, be, it could change everything. Hopefully not. But at the end of the day, as it stands, I'm not really talking to any other girl. I kind of like, I just don't want any. I don't because because like all I want to do, it's not hard. It's all I want to do is be happy, right? And then when I'm happy, I can stream all the time. Stream, get League of Legends rank one. I know it's a long. Ah, right, okay. Let's start slow. Get our master tier, which won't take long now, and then get challenger, and then try and climb to rank one. And that is it, you know, with the, with the uh, all assassins being nerfed in League of Legends and and a new item coming out, I'm I'm looking forward to, to owning the uh, the, the uh, uh, League. Of, I'm just looking forward to owning the fucking floor with people. But at the end of the day, that is about it, man. I just want to be happy all the time. That's all. It's all. Am I top being happy all the time? Um, yeah, yeah, that's shit, man. But um, that's I like. I like. I noticed something. A lot of girls are intimidated by me. They are because they see the the one well, I'm, I'm gross score. I've got like a, a permanent big brother thing going on all the time. I can't help but post my personal life on my internet because that's what I do, man. I'm known for being real. I don't I don't give a shit if people want to call me cringy or whatever or in private, mate. This is my life. This is what I do. Why are people ashamed to tell the truth and let your feelings out? Why? Why be ashamed? Why are we afraid of? What are you afraid of? Explain your reasoning, that's it. So a lot of girls don't want to get involved with me. I've noticed that. A lot of girls don't. Why not? Because they're scared of me. Why? Oh, because the whole gross score thing. Fucking hell, mate. Can't... Well, how about you don't fuck up in the relationship, right? This is not... I'm not talking to anybody here. I'm just giving examples. Don't fuck... Get with a guy. Don't fuck up so he can't talk shit about you. There you go. You're going to fuck me up. Yeah, I will name and shame you. Only if you fucking cheat on me. That's it. That's it. Every girl's gonna keep private. You know, I'm, I'm good like that. Um, but at the end of the day, just don't mess each other around. If you're gonna, if you're gonna mess somebody around, tell them like, I'm not interested. Move on. And all the people out there that go, oh, I, I like taking relationships slow. I don't understand people like you. If you like someone, get in there. Don't waste their fucking time. I'm not. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be like that in life. It should be two people like each other. Oh, and now we're getting close. There's no, oh, let's take it slow, I don't know, uh, blah, blah. What are you hiding from? Who? Are you scared? What are you scared of? What, you, you're, you're talking to other people behind my back? What is it? You know, so, I know this girl wants to take it slow for whatever reason, but it's fine. It's fine, but I'm just saying, everyone in general, I, I, don't, I don't see why people say they want to take it slow. You just, all my girlfriends in the past, we just dashed right into it and it's been fine. Like, I, I, I mean, three and a half years with Rachel, ten months with Shan, that's alright. You know what I mean? Um... God damn it, women, why? Can, can somebody please tell me the reason why? I generally don't fucking know. Why take it slow? Because you want to get to know me. I see. Because you want to get to know me. Right, well, I'm pretty easy catch. What you see is what you get. Voila, there's no catch, darling. Whatsoever. Anyways, enough about this video. That is my life right now. That is what's going on. It's currently 3.10, 3.11. And um, I'm going to get on stream. And go to my League of Legends. I know there's a fucking LCS on. Don't really give two fucks, to be quite honest. Don't really give a shit. Go and stream right through it. Five hours, six hours, seven hours stream. I've only had an apple to eat. I'm going to have to order some fish and chips. Right. That is about it, lads. Um, I know it's a close video vlog, but you guys, this is what I do, man. This is my living. This is what I do. I've got my fan base. Oi, oi, who is it? Yo, yo, if you've been sticking around for a long time, let me know in the comments. Let me know, man. Let me know. What do you guys think about all this shit? There's nothing really to think about it, except from that. A, grow school, you're cringy as fuck, and B, you're cringy as fuck, grow school. I am cringy as fuck. I'm open, I'm not afraid of nobody. That's the thing, I'm strong as fuck like that. I'm not afraid of nobody judging me. I will tell somebody my weakness, and you can try and bash me for my weakness. Go on, go on! I don't give a fuck, you know? Um, there's some people out there that are really, like, closed off, and they're scared of what others think. Not me, man. You want, you want security? I'll be that guy. Somebody you scared of getting hurt by somebody? I'll be there to protect you. All right? That's what I'm here for. At the end of the day, lads, follow me on Facebook. That's all I ask. Subscribe to me on YouTube if you haven't already. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, follow me on Facebook. I always make videos on there. Little rants. Little mini videos. Funny videos. Personal videos. Whatever. Get me on Facebook. I can't get in your skull big enough if you're interested in my life and he see how we're going to end up in, in uh, for the rest of our life. Follow me on Facebook. Okay? That's all I ask. If anything changes, you'd know. That's it. I post videos on there. I post when I'm streaming. Updates, comments, quotes, whatever. Get me on Facebook, fuckers. Follow me. It's like being my fucking friend. You want to be my friend? I'll be your friend. You want to message me? Message You want to message me saying private? Message me on Facebook. Alright? Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Fame minute video. I love you guys. You're all good to me. And I uh, appreciate all the support, man. Yeah, let's go get that fucking rank one.
Okay, Mossy Tier. Then Challenger. Then Rank 1.